Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. It is mission number 44, I think, and we got a brand new Guerrilla Ops mission with hundreds and hundreds of losses in it. And the only thing that we need to do is neutralize a field commander for almost 100 intel. Sounds like a deal? Yes, it certainly does. And when it comes to loss, I really like the sidearm of the sniper, um, specifically since we do have the between the eye um, command that allows us to kill any lost with a single shot. So we would have unlimited resets with uh, the pistol, specifically with the high aim skill that Edgar Allan Poe has. Both of them need another level, they are majors at the moment, so this team here will be the perfect force to go in. And last but not least, Dragonova can explode cars, which will trigger even additional loss. And loss usually um, only appear in cities, which is great, because there will be cars. So remote start as an ability will be very useful. Gosh, I love this game. I completely embrace um, being able to play again. And I love recording those uh, videos. So I'm super happy that the run continues. Um, and uh, hopefully it will be as good as uh, the last two missions. We have quite a streak since I returned. Uh, the last two missions were actually relatively easy. Has decided to tour the actual field, and we're going to make sure he never leaves there alive. Once you hit the ground, find our target and eliminate him as quickly as possible. Good. Time to go on to Operation Death Wheel. We're jumping out of the Sky Ranger, as always, a good old frame freeze, and. There we go. Everyone's concealed. Everyone's ready to go. So if we were to remote start, do we actually hit anyone? No, not yet. But believe me, that is very much an option. Oh, I forgot to mention something because I uh, used it in the equipment screen. This here, the button down here, is uh, the new ability uh, from the Wrath suit. So we finally got ourselves a new suit which is a perfect, perfect opportunity for us. Um, we might want to take the high ground. Up here would actually be a pretty good position. Good to go. I'm saving the grappling for repositioning onto the middle ledge. And let's see what the enemy is doing. Well, they've spotted out the loss, which is great, because now they can fight with one another. We haven't even been spotted, which is even better. Because for us it means the commander hasn't started the whole mission. The timing of the mission only starts once we see the commander. And we are definitely going to wait until that happens. Nice. The priest gets a severe beating. I'm on the move. And we're not going to lose any of our cover. If we are remote starting one of these cars, 
There we go. Two kills. Well, one kill in sustenance. That's okay. We're going to Overwatch because we still are not on a timer yet. And I want to see where the actual target is first before doing anything. Well, look at you. He's cleaning house. So, by seeing how much the ground shakes, or the, uh, the little uh, fields down here, I can already see that there's going to be a sector pot somewhere in this mission. We are going to continue with our stealth mission here. Nice little 100% shot. Killing him. And still nothing happens, because uh, the enemy doesn't even know we're here. Great, the losses are moving up and hopefully we'll injure him so we can kill it. And whilst the two of them are fighting with one another, as you order, Commander. We are just going to wait for now. Reloading, positioning, waiting. We're going to find the commander sooner or later. He's eventually going to hit him and uh, set him up to be killed. Uh, that's not that's not good enough. We need to make sure that we do have a hundred percent chance to kill him. There we go, that's our target. Just out of curiosity, can't we just explode the car? Yeah, we can. Great, we're going to do exactly that. Easy, easy. I think quite honestly, there is even a chance that Dragonova might be able to solo the, the entire mission. So far, we did not need to break concealment. And I think we're just continuing on uh, to, to wait with Edgar Allan Poe to intervene until this year is finally 
until uh, the the target is finally killed. Those guys are just clustering up, basically waiting for a for a mine, a proxy mine to be placed there. And there's the sector port I was talking about. So the losses are outnumbered, and it seems as uh, if they are going to lose this year. They would need to cluster up just a bit more. Let's again continue with our hunt for our target. There he is, the Advent General. This will hurt. He's almost down. I'm not going to change anything. I will wait with the advanced teamwork. Next turn, Dragonova can kill the captain. And those guys here will probably all huddle up so that we can kill them in in one go. There we go. They're clustering up. Perfect. Alright, we will need to deal with the sector port very soon though. Perfect. Let's see. I am trusting you. Moving over here. Taking a very solid chance to kill him immediately. Yeah, we're fine. Don't worry for now.
This here is not a 100% kill. So might as well wait for now. They don't know where we are, which is perfect because that makes them cluster up. So we can easily use our claymores. Not sure if I want to pass on that opportunity. Reloading. All right. Nice. So good. Lots and lots and lots of damage. On Overwatch. We're just waiting for now. Again, they don't know where we are and Dragon Over just outplays them so hard in this mission. So many more cars. It's almost ridiculous. They're trying to find her. That's why they are always kind of moving in one direction and then moving back. Another lightning field, because the sector pod thinks that Dragonova might be close. Okay, so if we just move and do nothing other than moving for now. Then we can move all the way to here, which means we can put a claymore in the middle of everyone next turn, and it'll be great. Probably going to be one of the most valuable claymores that has ever been placed. Unfortunately, the second pot is not coming any closer. Again, they are just trying to spot Dragonova out. Moving back and forth. Shield has now officially been removed.
I think this here should cover all of them. The trap is set. I am at your service. All right. That's a perfect time for an advanced teamwork, by the way. And well, it's three out of four, but uh, four out of five. But it's the most uh, that we could have done with uh, just one claymore. Let's keep overwatching. We still have a claymore left. This is getting hilarious. Another lightning field because the sector pod thinks uh, that the uh, reaper is actually close and they're changing the position trying to find out if the reaper is on top interesting But the truth is, the Reaper is somewhere completely different and keeps on killing them. Another nice little explosion. I feel that the sector pod is now starting to cheat because it's moving like precisely to the position where our sniper is located. <laughs> and although they know where he is, they still can't really figure out how to get to him. I will reposition. Dragonova in the meantime. It's taking measures in her own hand. Return to your guard. I need more ammunition. And kills three with just a single shot. Overwatch. Oh, yeah, the sector pot can reach us up there. Too bad. Oh, surprise, surprise. Who would have thought that that he would spot us out? By the way, I call bullshit. They knew where we have been. It was simply the uh, their knowledge. So that's yeah. Well, never mind. You guys get the point. Let's 
See you later, sucker. to do our strike. Should have fallen face off. Oh, okay, gotcha. Moving out. Let's go. This should kill the sector bot. does not fully kill it, but it's down to 1 HP, which now is enough. Wait a second, we can shadow fall, which means we are going to be concealed again. So jokes actually on the AI, because now they do no longer know where Edgallian Poe is. But to be fair, they knew his last position, so, so it's it's actually easy to move there. Not sure what's happening. So that's going to be a kill. Hostile terminated. Yeah, I mean, the AI cheated, so I'm a bit miffed about it. I really like the idea of almost soloing the mission, and there would have been a good chance that we could have done that. Sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. Nice. Solid yeah, kills. The eight days are a little bit bad. Could explain great superior mobility, also not bad. Lots of corpses. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance. And a hundred intel. That's good. Globe. Very good. So we still wanted. Thank you for the extra intel. We still wanted to continue making contact, but not finish it, like not fully, at least. There we go. That's as much as we want. Avenger plotting new course. Problem is, now that Edgar and Poe is out, I don't yet want to do the supply raid. That's a bit of an issue. So might as well take the intel in the meantime, and once the intel is taken, we're taking the supply raid and finishing making contact. The supply raid should still continue being there for the next eight days. Will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. 
It's great. So we can do Gremlin Mark III. Perfect. And there's our breakdown. We get an instant shield bearer autopsy. Physically. Which allows this new experimental armor. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. We wouldn't want to go into the direction of psionics yet. Gatekeeper would be psionics research. Uh, Berserk would give us um, stimulants, which we don't need. Purifier. Um, we don't need stun lancer. Stun Lancer was melee weapon upgrade, but we already have the highest melee weapon upgrade. Priests would uh, be the one time stasis option. Yeah, might as well go and get some extra intel for now. From this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. We're still too low on income to afford all of the upgrades, so that'll need to wait just a little bit. You should recognize the simplicity of these tactics, Commander, for they are the same as those you oh, employed. Oh, additional in seven days. Uh, thank you, but then we're not going to finish it because it simply doesn't make sense. We need these attacks before they catch up with us. Making contact, no, that would be too expensive. We're first going to finish this one here. Hmm. Well, let's do the supply rate until it's almost done and the rest will be uh, going into um, gathering intel. Okay, so once at Galleon Poe is back, we're going to get the supply rate going. Okay, so nothing really out of uh, the ordinary. Might as well just go and gain intel. Yeah, I think it's the right play because very soon we're going to have the supply drop and then we can start going wild. I am sure you will find the results to be as nice little 125 into. It's really, really, really good. We don't need the facility leads yet. We're fine. Might as well go for another cash. To begin, Commander. Commander, the shadow chamber is up and running. All we have to do now is put it to use. Yeah, we're not. I wouldn't want to go down that research path yet. We can progress the storyline a little bit later. For now, it's fine. Yeah, let's get the supply drop. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone. All yourself. right, new strengths for the Warlock. All seeing reveals concealed units. That sucks. That's actually a really good ability. Usually, the um, the sniper has that ability. Uh, we're probably going to have another assault on the Avenger. And by going now for the Warlock and maybe getting even rank 3, so knowing where his um, stronghold is, we might be able to start killing him first. Um, we should try to counter this one here. Overwatch shots will always miss Advent Troopers. is really not good. Retaliation strike happens in seven weeks, so that's okay. But this here needs to be countered.
Yeah, we're pretty much okay with what we've chosen. Alright, which means welcome to month number 12. Edgar Alien Poe is ready in two days. So let's prepare all the things that we wanted to prepare. Number one, let's finish making contact, then get the uh, supplies as far as we can, and then do the supply raid. The chosen warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. So perfect. Here we do have, by the way, another extremely powerful and dangerous alien guarding this location. So we are going to do that once the uh, Viper King is dead. That'll be the Berserk Queen then. Uh, and we're going to build a tower here, plus make contact with the last region. So that's... and we haven't scouted out the uh, third Chosen, which is actually really, really good. There we go. Great. Health increased by plus one. We have rank number two with the Templars. We've learned another piece of information about the and, their schemes. My followers grow in and we get some... Oh, Mental Fortitude is a really, really good order. All Battle Madness, Panic Obsession, Berserk, Shattered only lasts one round, which is cool because usually what that means is in the round of the enemy, disorientation, Shattered, Berserk, and so on can happen. Um, and in your turn, it already does no longer um, work. So that's probably one of the strongest resistance orders that exist. So I'm very eager to get that next month. Let's see, we got will plus four, not really good. Reduce avatar pro uh, progr uh, progress, really good. We can could use it, but we're okay for now, mostly. Dodge plus seven, but that here is pristine. We definitely want to have it. Promotion is okay. Speed of all weapon research is increased by 15%. Comes a bit too little too late. We have done that. Threshold on next level plus one health both together are really really good. So it's probably something that Roby and um, and Hopward can do together just to raise their uh, their level so this here plus uh, The well the mobility isn't bad either, but the dodge is better Another promotion, plus we get the actual mission. That's not bad either, it's a good trade-off. Another promotion, dodge plus 10, oh my gosh. It would be nice if it would say counter chosen activity attempt to hunt the Avenger. If we could counter that, it would be really good, but dodge plus 10, I think that is our chosen activity. It, this is really, really good. Dodge plus 10. Mobility plus 1. It's good. Spare parts, not so good. So both of the, um, both of the actual breakthroughs aren't super good. I think we're going to go with this. I hope that there is a small chance we are countering uh, the uh, probably were not because this is for the Templars and the Templar the, the the counter part to the Templar is the Warlock so they are probably countering the Warlock's um, issue anyway so plus 10 dodge for 10 days and in here we do have plus 7 dodge for 10 days so we're going to go with 10 dodge this isn't bad either but let's start with the dodge because this 
is something that I really, really, really like to maximize having high dodge on on Eric, so on Hogwarts is it's helpful. Once he has all three stacks of his focus, that's 25% of the dodge. So if we can get him to around 65 uh, dodge on top of that, then we're capped at 90. I think 80 or 90% dodge was the maximum. Anyways, you can't have um, the uh, you can't maximize it to 100%. We don't want the soldier to be captured. And you know what? If there is a moderate chance for an ambush, there is actually a chance for an ambush. Might as well put Mitch into the mix. He has a prototype. Uh, we're giving him a different rifle. And the ambush also does not have many uh, mechanical units. Well, it sometimes does, so might as well give him that. Okay. Moderate chance of wounding the soldier. That's something I, I do not like. But on the other hand, it's 10 dodge, so there is there's a prize for it. My followers will lead this action to victory. Okay, let's take a look. Do we have Edgar Alien Poe back in business? Yes, we do. Edgar Alien is ready for action. Love it. They here, uh, uh, both Edgar and Dragonover have maxed their rank. I think we need to invest some more time um, increasing the bond of Hogbite and Roby. They should be level 3, so the mission with the uh, bond increase is something that we should seriously consider. And now off to our supply rate. Tactical mission site located. Very nice. So there we go. Ten enemies detected. That's a bad sign. That means probably the Viper King is there. Archon. Priest, Lancer, Trooper, Purifier, Sectored, all of those human, um, all of these here are biological creatures, only the Codex um, to, to be a mechanical creature. So might as well adjust our ammunition quite a bit. It's definitely going to be a Dragonova plus uh, Edgar Alien Poe because it's a non-timed mission and they are usually a pretty pretty good tech team i'll find out uh, how we are adjust how and if we are adjusting the ammunition um and we are going to be right back in the next video thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to leave a small like and or uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the run as much as i do see you in the next uh, mission guys we are going to rock this supply rate bye bye